Hey, Kevin here, top one financial advisor, best-selling author, and we are here to talk about the stock market. I had another really good question slide into my DM, so I'm going to slide and answer back in video format. And that question is, how do you create a watch list? Like, what is your logic and process in creating a watch list, and how can I do that? So, first off, that's a great question. I am going to answer that for you. But number two, you know, watch lists are important because they can help you to simplify and find investments and research investments that could be right for you. For example, if you noticed, we did a video, what was it, a day, maybe two days ago, where we talked about six retail stocks that I like. Macy's was on that list. And then today, Macy's was up 20%. Watch lists are important. Subscribing to the channel is important. Being on the email list and Instagram and TikTok, being in all these places, they're important. I just be saying, right? I, I just, that's all I'm gonna say, right? We talked about this with Etsy. Same thing, infrastructure bill, same thing. We be, we be talking about these things, we be putting out these watch lists, so how do you create one? All right, so this actually feeds into the other video that we talked about, and that was like these daily habits. So what I do and the process that I use to create my watch list is basically this, is I'm reading every day, I'm trying to figure out what are the themes, right? What is the, the background of the market and what companies fit that background? Once I figure that out, that's how companies get on to the watch list. For example, last year, and I say this all the time, last year in 2020, it was all about stay at home stocks. That's all everybody was talking about. That's all we ever knew, right? The you know, coronavirus hit, things were shut down, and people were getting on Zoom, people were using Google Meet, people were using Microsoft Teams, and, and that's what it was, right? DoorDash hit ridiculous numbers because people were at home eating food, which is what I was doing. And that's, that's what it was. That was the background. That was the theme of that point in time. Then it was vaccine stocks, right? And then Moderna came up and just took off. That was the theme. Then the calendar turned, it was 2021. That wasn't the theme no more, right? And that's, that's the, uh, the thing that some people just miss. If you first started investing in 2020, what worked in 2020 isn't necessarily gonna work in 2021. What worked in 2021 might not necessarily work in 2022. We'll see. Uh, so the theme this year, right now, it's it's infrastructure. That's a part of it. Right now, it's retail. That's definitely a big part of it. It's energy. It's materials. So like steel companies, those like new core stuff like that. Those are tending to do well. And then it's banks. Now I think banking is doing well now, but I think it's really going to do even better in 2022, based on what we know about interest rates and people going back outside and all that kind of stuff. All videos for another day, but these are the things that I'm adding to the watch list now to give me time to research, get more familiar, and understand what is going on. So you can actually see my watch list on public. There's one of them. This is now this watch list is relatively long, which is why we do smaller breakdown videos of you know retail. Put that video out. We'll do you know infrastructure stocks. We'll break that out and talk about those. Um, that way you don't have to scan through the entire watch list. But you can feel free to peruse. It's it's there for you. I'll put the link um, in the description. But again, the reason why I do it is it helps me to get more familiar and I integrate the some of these into my daily habits. So in the morning, I'm reading about the themes. I'm reading about the economy. I'm reading about the markets. Figuring out what's just what's just going on. General informed information. Right, and I'm getting them from all different sources from everywhere, just getting a worldview of like what's going on in the economy, what's just going on in the world. That's it. Okay. And then usually in the afternoon, that's when I'm getting those, you know, one off alerts or notifications to say, hey, this, you know, I think it was what Netflix or something hit an all time high. Why do I even know that? I do not own Netflix at this point in time. Why do I know that? Because I'm a watch list and I get a notification. Why do I know that Lululemon is doing quite well? Because my daughter used to own it and it's on the watch list. That's how I know that, right? So these notifications and things help me to form an opinion and helps me to really understand what the market is doing and where the market is going. So that when I'm ready to make a change in my portfolio or make, it, make an investing decision, I can just pull from the watch list and make that choice as opposed to kind of sitting in that analysis paralysis like, should I do it? Why should I do it? And just really go through that process. All I have to do is say, look, I've been reading about this for the past six months. I've been reading about this for the past two weeks, whatever it is, because I've been getting these alerts. I've seen it on my watch list. I'm scrolling through public. I'm scrolling through 
through Twitter, or Yahoo Finance, or CNBC, or wherever, and I'm seeing it pop up. So I know exactly what's going on. I can enter this investment with some level of confidence and understanding. All this stuff help, helps me. For example, another company, uh, I don't know if it's currently on there, but it used to be, was Roku. I like Roku as a company. I don't like it as a stock right now because it is awful right now. Uh, why do I know that? Because it's on the watch list and I'm getting these notifications and it says, hey, it's down 20%. It's down 35%. I'm like, ooh, guess I'll just wait for that one, right? Um, so that's usually what the watch list is for me is a parking lot. Now, how do you actually like create one? That's the process of how I create mine. Um, so if I'm reading something in the news and it's talking about infrastructure, then I'm going to go figure out what infrastructure stocks make sense and add those to the list. Um, but like, depending on the app that you use, how do you really do this? It's actually quite simple. Um, so I'll just walk you through a super quick, quick, quick process and then the benefits and, and disadvantages of using these. So the first tier that you can use, I think most people use, um, it might be, might be the most helpful depending on how you want to look at it. Um, I use um, Yahoo Finance and CNBC. You don't need both. Okay, you don't need both. I say you don't need both because you might not want double notifications from two apps telling you about the same the same companies. Okay, so for example, if you are adding Walmart to your watch list, Walmart goes up 10%. Do you need CNBC and Yahoo Finance telling you that at the same time? Probably not. You're going to get a ton of notifications. So choose whoever you like most. Um, but anyway, you can go into it. You can type in WMT, ticket symbol for Walmart. The top right hand corner for both apps, you can either hit the star button on Yahoo Finance or the watch list button on CNBC and boom, you're creating your watch list. That's all it takes. If you're on public, there's actually a star button in the top right hand corner. You type in the stock that you want to add to watch list, hit the star button, boom, you've created your watch list. That's it. That's all it is to actually creating a list, and that is my process for creating it. Anytime I hear something interesting in the news, anytime I see somebody do something interesting about a company, I say, hmm, okay. Add that to the watch list for now. Give me some time to understand it if I don't understand it already, and then I can make a decision. So what I'm going to do, and what I've do, been doing for years now, is June and December, that's when I rotate out of some of my stocks. I choose my job to try and choose people. I say people, but choose companies that are winners, that are doing well now, are set to fit where I think the themes will be for next year. How do I know what themes are? Again, daily habits. I'm reading about this stuff all the time. So I already think that banking is going to be good. I think retail is great right now. I don't know about 2022 yet. And I think energy is going to be good now and in the future. Um, when I say future, I mean 2022. And then even materials, like all these steel companies, I've been reading about them because when I first heard about it and started learning about them, I was like, I don't know nothing about no steel companies. But now if it's on my watch list, I'm getting these notifications. I know more now than when I did then. So I might be more comfortable investing in it in December. Um, so what I'm doing, that's how I'm adding it there. And then when I'm ready to make that move for me, y'all know my process, invest for six months, come back, reevaluate, hold it for six months, come back and reevaluate. Um, so for me, if it's on the watch list, I can say, okay, I've got, uh, I know American Express is on my watch list, financial. I know BlackRock is on my, my watch list, another financial company. Do I rotate out of um, something like a Capital One and switch that out? Do I rotate out of something like um, a Target and do something like, I don't know, Macy's or Dillard's? This prob probably would not do that. Um, but you know, that's it's on the list. That's not, that's an option I have now, as opposed to shooting for the stars and trying to pick something out of nowhere. I have a list I've, I've become familiar with, I've had my eye on, and all I gotta do is decide what I wanna do and what's going on at the time that I'm trying to make those investment decisions. All right, so that's it. That, that's it, that's that's how you make a watch list, that's my approach to doing it. I've given you at least three apps you can do it. It's super, super simple to create a watch list on any of these platforms. But that's how I create it, that's the logic that I use. You use those habits to inform what you think is gonna be the theme for what's going on in the economy and the market. Create the watch list to kind of shorten what you're looking at and then you can make your investing decisions from there. Lastly, and I think I said this before, I don't know if I did, hit the like and subscribe button because I talk about these lists all the time. We talked about retail, so we've seen how retail has done. Uh, we talked about infrastructure, we've been talking about infrastructure for a long time. But again, because I've been reading, 
we talk about them on the channel, we make these watch lists, and then you can make an investing decision. It can help you to really navigate this very confusing, very difficult investing world. All right, that is it for me. Thank you guys for coming out. Like, subscribe, hit the links in the description below. I have a bunch of resources. Most of them are free for you to help um, to better understand the investing space and help you become a better investor. All right, that's it for me. Talk to you guys later. Bye.